Hi everybody, welcome to day 34 on the lockdown. I've had a full day today. I've done some um, more of the uh, tea bowls where the, uh, the the ash runs over the top, so I've replaced some of those because well, there were five of those have gone, which is very good. Uh, a couple of moon jars that are a bit of an experiment, I'll explain that to you at a later date, leave you in suspense over that. And uh, the throwing demo is of a one of the one of the eager vases. Uh, Lee on Instagram asked me how I do the neck. Is it in two pieces? Well, it's in one. So I've done a video for that. But what that's done is that's led on to um, that's led on to having a really fun day uh, experimenting with these vases and getting them taller and uh, turning them to sort of almost like they're like angels. Really, they've got wings on now and. Uh, really, I've had a, a really good day doing that. Uh, it's one of the best creative days I've had with pottery for a long, long time. So uh, thank you, Lee. All, all credit to you. So there's a bit of bit of um, uh, kiln opening and then the demo. Okay. Morning. Just going to uh, unpack this uh, biscuit kiln. I just thought I'd show you <laughs> the top of it. These teapots are just about to go in, they're drying, so while the kiln's on I use it to dry, to dry out all the uh, all the biscuit where that's going to go in it. One lot out, another lot in. Just fits. Okay, this is one of the uh, eager vases. How well, how I make them anyway. I made the mistake last night of leaving some of my pumped clay uncovered so it's pretty stiff. I've just been wedging it for 20 minutes. I can save it. I learn by your mistakes. I'm not doing that again. Knack it Question of get that tall cylinder. The first thing the person asked was, um, do I throw this tall cylinder and then add, add uh, the neck on afterwards? And I don't, I throw it in one. I'll try to throw it in one. This is the, this here is the, if you can see it, this here is the height that will fit in my tiny electric kiln for bisque firing so that's my measure of how tall a pot I can actually get any one in my uh, in my kiln. I have a friend who has got a big Amberly, she's got a big electric kiln and all my big pots I fire in her kiln. But unfortunately due to the due to the lockdown um, can't do it. Uh, this is the way I get height into this pot, is you just squeeze it and push. And it 
lifts it right up. It's fighting me a little bit here. So it's a bit uneven because it's as, obviously, as I said, I left it open. But luckily, these pots are um, these pots are quite wobbly anyway, so I'll get away with it. Let's curl the top in at the back top a little bit. I want to press it up; it doesn't flare out, and then we'll stretch it up again. This is the answer to the question that was asked. Do I form the uh, the neck separately and put it on, or do it in one? So I do it in one. a wobbly neck to this but not yet so I'm just going to trim the top squeezing it in. <laughs> Very wobbly. And I'm just wiggling my thumb here to give it an uneven rim because I want the rim to be wobbly. Save these. I'm going to use them in a bit. I'm going to put four sides on this. The last one I did, I did three sides, but I want four on this one. Oh, look what I've done. I've torn through that one there. Look, can you see it? Wow. I'll leave that. Usually a problem, but. Not with this today, because I like this to be torn. Okay, now these eager vases have. Um, wings on them here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this and I'm going to press it on like that this is all tearing here as well which is really nice put something inside there so I can press on it Forming nicely.
enjoy doing these. So I'm going to turn this up. And that'll catch some of the ash that runs down. I don't know how, whether these things here will last or not, whether they'll break off, but. done. Right, started off as a, a demo today but I got uh, really sort of stuck into making these and uh, they're really good, they remind me of angels so they're sort of my, there's, these are my eager angels. Um, I've not really had so much fun sort of creatively with clay for a long time. It's been fantastic today. I really enjoyed this. Uh, so the person who asked me to do the demo, uh, thank you. I've had a great day. Uh, okay, Lee, I hope that answered your question. Um, I've had a really good day today, a full day, and um, I'm wondering upward. See you tomorrow.